Hey, you sound beautiful. Caleb, I want to start off by thanking you for choosing me and for loving me even when I least deserve it. I have waited five years, four months, and seven days for this to make all my days come true. Today, I am still completely in love with you and the man that you were, are, and have become. Whew. I'm in awe of your kind heart, selflessness, and hardworking and passionate nature. You inspire me every single day to be the best version of myself and keep going even in my darkest days. For the past five years, you have shown me unconditional love and have been my rock when I needed you the most. There's absolutely nothing in this world that could break the bond that we have. We have something that people sometimes search a lifetime for. I consider it a privilege to love you and become your wife. My father would have been honored to know you and know the man and know the man who holds his daughter's heart and for the rest of her life. Even when I haven't believed in myself, you have believed in me. I promise to support you and spend every day trying to be the wife that you deserve. I promise to respect you and all your desires and needs and realize that even though they may be different than mine, they're just as important as my own. I promise to love you and cherish you with every ounce of being that I have for the rest of our days. I promise to find more and more reasons to fall in love with you every single day. I will love you in the good times and the bad and conquer anything that life throws in our way. I will stand by you and I am with you no matter what. You're my best friend, my safe place, and my home. I am so unbelievably lucky to be loved by you and I'm yours forever. I love you. <laughs> Ashton, all I can say is wow. You and I are both standing here on the day of our wedding. How wild is that? The day I've been looking forward to for the last five years. It's finally about to come true. I get to marry my best friend. I just wish there was a way that I could put into words how much you mean to me. But there's truly no way for me to describe my feelings other than this moment. You and I are starting our lives together after all the fun is over and both the happy tears from our loved ones ready to cheer us on and the sad tears from our loved ones that aren't quite ready to give us up. I'm going to get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend. It's crazy the absolute love I have for you, Ashton. I just think all of this started in high school in math class, passing notes and picking at one another. <laughs> and look at us now. We have made it through some of the lowest of the lows and the highest of the highs and have had many wonderful memories together, Ashton. The best part is that we just get started. All the vacations and road trips and family gatherings, starting a new family, raising kids, watching them grow as we get to grow old together with the woman of my dreams. I thank God for blessing me with such an amazing woman every day. You're the best thing that has ever happened to me. I love you, Ashton, and I will till the day I take my dying breath. On this day, we will join hands in marriage. I promise <laughs> Ashton that I will constantly be working to improve our marriage. I will treat you with respect and trust, knowing that you will always have our better good in mind. I will never leave you, Ashton. Your happiness means more to me than anything in the world, and I just can't wait to start our life together as husband and wife. Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Dockery. It has a nice ring to it, don't it? It does. <laughs> but really, Ashton, no matter what happens today, today you and I will start our lives together, and there is no one in the entire world that I'd rather do it with. I love you with everything I have, and will love you for the rest of my life. I am happy to get to make you my wife. I love you, Ashton, forever and ever, through thick and thin, till the day I die. You will be my wife, and I will be your husband. I wouldn't change this moment for all the money in the world. 
to hear you say I do and seal it with a kiss. In that moment, I will be the happiest man in the whole wide world. I love you, Ashton, forever and always. Mm, I love you. Caleb, take this woman whose hand you now hold to be your lawfully wedded wife, to love and respect her, honor and cherish her, in sickness and in health, in prosperity and adversity, and forsaking all others to keep yourself only for her as long as you both shall live. I do. Then repeat after me. I, Caleb, I, Caleb take you, Ashton, take you, Ashton, to be my wedded wife, to be my wedded wife. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful husband. To be your loving and faithful husband. In plenty and in want. In plenty and in want. In joy and in sorrow. In joy and in sorrow. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Ashton, do you in like manner solemnly agree? to take this man whose hand you now hold to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and respect him, and live with him in all faith and tenderness, leaving all others to keep yourself only unto him as long as you both shall live. I do. Then repeat after me. I, Ashton. I, Ashton. Take you, Caleb. Take you, Caleb. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And I do promise and covenant. And I do promise and covenant. Before God and these witnesses. Before God and these witnesses. To be your loving and faithful wife. To be in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, as long as we both shall live. And as much as Caleb and Ashton have pledged to each other before God, friends and family, and have sealed their pledges with marriage rings, I do, as an ordained minister of the gospel, and in conformity with the laws of the Commonwealth of Kentucky, pronounce that they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Those who God has joined together, let no one separate. Caleb, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Caleb Dockery. Watching them 
flirt with each other and then you say something and they're like, no, I don't like him. I'm not ready for a relationship. I don't see her as a girlfriend. <laughs> well. <laughs> so the other day, Ashton found this letter that Kayla wrote for her. Yeah, me, that over there. 